Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The U.S. Department of Defense announced on April 23, 2024, that it has granted a substantial contract valued at $40 million to Oshkosh Defense LLC, an American company, for the development and provision of remotely operated ground units for expeditionary fires, rogue fire. These units are designated for utilization within the Navy and Marine Expeditionary Ship Interdiction System, a pivotal component of contemporary naval and maritime operations. The remotely operated ground unit for expeditionary, rogue, fires vehicle system represents a noteworthy leap in military technology, incorporating a missile launcher onto an unmanned version of the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, chassis, developed by Oshkosh Defense. This collaboration forms the foundation of the ground-based anti-ship missile, BASM, system, currently under development by the United States Marine Corps, elevating its capabilities and furnishing a competitive edge in modern warfare scenarios. At the heart of the Rogue Fire's vehicle's autonomy lies sophisticated software derived from a government-owned autonomy stack, RTK, presently employed in the Expedient Leader Follower, XLF, and Autonomous Ground Resupply, AGR, programs at the Ground Vehicle System Center, GVSC. Bernie Tyson, chief of the GVSC Robotics Division, underscored the significance of this adaptation, emphasizing its role in augmenting operational efficiency and vehicle efficacy. The XLF and AGR programs at GVSC, commonly known as Leader Follower Initiatives, aim to enhance military ground vehicles with scalable robotic technology, reducing human involvement in driving and enhancing mission performance. The integration of modular kits, common interfaces, and standardized architecture ensures seamless interoperability and adaptability in various operational scenarios, as highlighted by Tyson. Although the Marines currently utilize the XLF iteration of GVSC software for the Rogue Fires program, Tyson stressed the inherent flexibility of the software, allowing seamless updates to GVSC's RTK. This transition incorporates additional behaviors developed under the AGR program, amplifying the vehicle's autonomy and responsiveness. RTK stands as a cornerstone in the Department of Defense's pursuit of prompt and cost-effective integration of ground robotic solutions, furnishing a standardized framework for future advancements in military technology. The contract is structured as a hybrid agreement, blending elements of firm fixed price and cost plus fixed fee, indicating a dual focus on cost containment and adaptability to fulfill the project's technical requirements. Work delineated in the contract will be dispersed across three locations, Alexandria, Virginia, where 18% of the work will occur, Gaithersburg, Maryland, comprising an additional 15%, and the majority, 67%, will take place in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Expected to conclude by December 2026, the project will utilize procurement funds from the Marine Corps fiscal year 2024 allocation, covering the entirety of the contract amount. These funds were committed at the time of award and are not subject to expiration at the conclusion of the current fiscal year. That's all for now, see you later.